Here's a secret about investing in the stock market that a lot of people aren't gonna tell you, but I will. My name is Kenneth and I teach almost half a million people how to invest for free. You can check it out right here. All you gotta do is go right here and click on the menu right here and everything there is free. There's not even an email sign up. A lot of people incorrectly say dividends, they're for old people. And while old people love their dividends and many of them live off of their dividend income in retirement, they didn't just start investing in dividends because they turned 60. One of the secrets to building wealth long-term is compounding. You consistently invest and reinvest your dividends over a lifetime and it compounds. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Think about it. If a company pays a $4 dividend and you have 100 shares, you're gonna earn around $400 per year. If you, as a 20 or 30 or 40 year old, just took that $400 and used it to buy new tires for your car or something, well, great, fine, you probably needed those new tires. But you could have reinvested that $400 into the stock, which would then earn you more dividends, which would buy you more shares, which would get you more dividends, which would get you more shares, which would get you more, you get the idea. Dividends are a great part of a diversified portfolio because they insulate your portfolio. Tech stocks can have disproportionately higher returns over the long term, but they can also be very volatile in recessions or bear markets. Do you remember that 1,000 point drop in the markets last Monday? What went down? All the big tech names, but what barely moved at all? Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble, McDonald's, boring, stable dividend companies. And if you don't want to own dividend stocks individually, I'm going to show you a couple of dividend ETFs right now. SCHD is largely seen as the most popular dividend ETF on the market. It has very low fees. That's the expense ratio. And you can see their dividend is around 3.5%. SPYD is another dividend ETF. And you can see that their expense ratio is pretty much similar, but they have a slightly higher dividend at 4.29%. Vanguard's high dividend ETF also has comparable expense ratios and around a 3% dividend. And SPHD is another very popular one, but this one actually pays monthly, and as a result, their fees could be a little bit higher, but they pay 3.84%. Some might be more affordable, some might have higher dividends, some might see better growth than others, and you might be wondering, but how do I determine which one is right for me? Yep, we're back here again. All you gotta do is go right here and click on this, which ETF is better template. And don't worry, there are walkthrough videos that'll show you how to fill out the template. All right, smash that follow. Thanks for watching. See you later.